Hi friends, welcome back to the Charm Prairie. My name is Megan and how are you guys all doing? How is your quarantine going? It is, it's 10 o'clock and I've already showered. That's a big bonus for me. I may only be wearing yoga pants on the bottom, but I'm feeling festive on the top and my hair's washed. So we are gonna look at all of the wins that we have, right? Today, I'm gonna be taking you with me on a really real to life, day in the life of a quarantine home. This is, this is real life happening right now, guys. Um, I'm gonna share a few of my little tips and tricks, not that they're special, but just kind of show you how I'm trying to cope with what's going on right now. I think we're all, we're all a little in chaos and limbo land and feel like we've fallen down the rabbit hole with this whole thing and our lives are different. And so how we do things has to be different. And if it's been taking you like four weeks to figure out what that is, it's okay because we're all there. So I just wanted to show you my first thing that I have done. My first like three weeks of life were just like spiraling. Like all I could do was figure out how to keep everybody fed and the laundry done and the house mildly picked up and clean. All that to say things have been a little chaotic and I noticed that I personally was starting to really spiral myself. I was not starting to be in a healthy spot. And we all know that when the mom spirals out of control, the whole home spirals out of control. So I went back to some of the things that I was doing before. I am the type of person where schedules are hard. I did a whole video on it. My whole New Year's resolution was to make schedules and routines and stick to them because I'm like, I'm just like, yeah, I'm not organized. And when I, it does not take a lot for me to spiral out of my routine. So I went back to what I was doing. Guys, no lie. I'm like a child. I made myself a checklist of all the things I need to do every day. I laminated. I called it my conquer the world routine. And... These are essentially all of the like really good things that I need to be doing every day. Like they should be habits, but it's hard to just let them go crazy. So things like I need to, I'm going to revamp this because I forgot some things and I'm going to add a couple more things in there, but get ready, take my vitamins, make my bed, workout, water, devotions, Bible, like these are all the things that I need to be pouring into my body and my mind and my soul so that I can handle the rest of the stress and chaos without going, Whew. Okay, change of location. The baby could not hold out on her nap any longer. So baby's down for her nap. When, let's go back to this. Also, if you think that all I live in is a cielo sweater, you are not wrong. So here on my nifty list, because I just need to be able to see it and check it out. So it worked out today. It was not ideal. It was not phenomenal, but I moved my body and I tried to fit it into the little gaps that I could. Working out at home is hard for me. I do not work out well around people. If there are like more than two people at the gym, I leave. It just... It does not work for me. I like to be solid, like solitude. I don't have a lot of solitude right now, like zero. So I'm just having to work around that. Anyway, so today I fit in a quick, just 20 minutes to make sure I moved my body this morning. I did it while my first grader did his reading next to me and the baby colored on the floor. It wasn't great but I did it, I get to check it off of my list. So that being said, this is how I'm trying to get organized. So if you feel like you are struggling to just do 
the basics like brush your hair, get dressed, do like even wash your face, drink water or take your vitamins, make yourself a little checklist and just check it off every day like you're five. But you know it works. On the same note as checklists, I've also made them for my kids for their school. So I have made or written down all the things that they need to do every day. And when they've checked everything off, then they know they're done. And then I know they're done. And it keeps us focused and organized with their schoolwork as well. Okay, so baby's napping. I remake it with my coffee. Let's go try to take care of all of this. Okay, while I get ready, I'm gonna fit in my Bible time. I love the Bible app because it reads it to you. It's amazing. That's how I've been able to manage to keep up with my Bible reading is because I can listen to it and I'm more of an auditory learner anyway. I do better with audios and things being said to me. Love this. So if you are struggling with getting your Bible time in right now, download the Bible app. It's free and a very calm British man will read you your Bible every day and it's amazing. <laughs> into the boat that says I don't have time to get ready or it's just way too much work guys I just time myself I put my makeup on in six minutes that is less than 10 minutes to look like you did more than roll out of bed don't get me wrong I have rocked that look many a day this quarantine time but I do know the days that I try try I do feel a little bit better about myself and I don't do that spiral down the rabbit hole of just feeling anxious and worried and stressed and crazy. So if you think it's taking you a long time, maybe just time yourself and see how long it really takes you. Sometimes just that perspective change, you realize, wow, that's really not taking up a lot of my time at all. So now you may be saying, Wow, yeah, that makeup look really only looks like it took her six minutes because e. Well guys, my kids aren't big critics and as long as you can tolerate how you look, that's all that matters. Okay, that's good enough. We're gonna try to let that soak into the veins and let's see it is now 11 o'clock and my family has informed me that they would like to have lunch sometime soon so I guess I'm gonna go figure out what that is so I will see you on the next step okay so the kids have had lunch. Now, if you feel like all you are doing is cooking meals, make sure that you are utilizing all of your leftovers. For lunch today, I just cleared out leftovers, especially if you have boys. I mean, basically as long as it's palatable and they can eat it, they're happy. They're not picky. I just cleaned out all of the leftovers. It was kind of a random mix. It was like nachos with chili beans and then leftover tuna salad and muffins. But you know what? Like I said, boys don't care. Everything tasted good. They're full. They're happy. They're back to their stuff. 
So now I can now start over with brand new food when I cook and I don't have anything lingering in the fridge. Now I'm gonna feed myself. So I am having this lovely giant salad. I am just utilizing and eating all of the fresh greens and veggies that I have right now. We are gonna try to do like a once a month big grocery haul and try to stay out of the stores. So while I have the fresh stuff, that is all I'm eating right now. So don't get me wrong, we have been eating lots of vegetables. We have been having a ton of frozen, but you get to that point where you just miss green things and that's kind of where we all were at we didn't have any spinach stuff like that um when you do your monthly grocery get the stuff that will last a long time i actually don't make salads with lettuce because lettuce goes so quickly so i get spinach because it holds up and has a longer like fridge life and then i will also use coleslaw as my salad mix because cabbage lasts forever in fact i have some cabbage like a coleslaw that i'm saving until this spinach is done because it lasts a lot longer and then we will eat that and honestly i don't even like lettuce salads all that much anymore so i'm gonna have my spinach salad i'm gonna keep up finish up my bible reading while i'm eating this then I can check that off my list. Okay, so I'm fed. That's good. I was noticing that on the days when I was just like not patient with my children or my nerves were just going crazy, I realized it was because I was hungry, essentially hangry. My blood sugar was tanking. I either hadn't eaten breakfast or went too long with for lunch you know you get caught up you don't always feed yourself so make sure that you are putting nutritious food in your body often so that you can have all the things that you need to keep going especially little tip if you have a special diet for me i'm grain free so there's always food for my family to eat but there's not always something for me to eat to make sure that you either have leftovers of food you can have or fruits and veggies on hand to quick snack on like cheese slices cut up or you have made your special baked good something that you can grab quick because when you're already hangry you're all the point of no return and you're not going to make something quick so make sure that you're not letting yourself get there I've started making sure that I eat regularly, get my all my meals in on time. It's doing a lot better. I should maybe add that to my list of things to do every day. big old thumbs up if this little scenario here looks like anybody else's life. Yep. This is real life, guys. Real life. The kitchen is now shiny and clean. I even got the mop out and those sticky spills underneath the table are gone. So bonus. 
I've had my earphones in finishing up some of my devotions and this is the book that I'm currently reading right now but honestly I don't have time to sit down and do that but there's a really awesome dramatized not dramatized but red audio kind of dramatized that it has like music and sound effects that kind of go along with it on YouTube so that is what I've been listening to and I've really really enjoyed it so I am going to move on and finish up the couple last things on my checklist Maybe after two o'clock, but I was able to get my things in on my list. There's only one thing that's not completely checked off. That's my water drinking, and that usually doesn't get checked off till bedtime anyway. I try to get in at least a, um, a gallon of water, like three quarts is minimum. I know that my brain and my body run so much better when I'm hydrated, so I really try to force down the water. So I think this is my second or third quart. I'd like to drink it out of quart jars because then it's easy. I know four of them is gallon and I'm done. So that is that. And that is how I am trying to keep some of the crazies away with this quarantine as a mom, as a human, <laughs> trying to be somebody who is pleasant to live with because my family doesn't have a lot of other people to socialize with right now, except for me. And I want to be as pleasant and as functioning as well as possible for them. So I hope this encourages you if you're kind of been just not getting your act together and been kind of sluggish, get your list together. It doesn't have to look like mine. Maybe you only have three things. Three, three things. Or maybe you have more than me but definitely having a checklist of things you need to get done helps so much. So I just want to let you know that I am collaborating with some other great content creators here on YouTube to film day in the life quarantine edition videos. I will leave their info in my info box below, either links to their pages or the playlist of everything. So make sure that you check them out and subscribe. Also, give my video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. 